Hello. Hello, YouTube viewers. No matter what you see or hear that is immoral, that goes against the morals set in the Bible. <coughs> Whenever you see, hear, or think of anything that goes against any of the moral things that the Bible talks about, whenever you see, hear, or think of anything that that is opposite, that goes against what the Lord says is good just and right always always read Matthew 7 it says ask and you shall receive Matthew chapter 6 says if we forgive those who have sinned against us the Lord will forgive us but if but if we do not forgive those who have sinned against us, the Lord will not forgive us. And keep in mind that Matthew 6 also says one of the things we should pray for is to not yield to temptation. So listen to me. Whenever you hear, see, or are reminded of and or think about anything that goes against what the Bible says is true and wonderful whenever you see hear or are reminded of or or think about anything that goes against what the Bible calls good and wonderful read Matthew 6 because it says if we forgive those who have sinned against us the Lord will forgive us and Matthew 7 because it says ask and you shall receive and also read 1st John chapter 1 because it says if we confess our sins, the Lord is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all our sins and unrighteousness. And also read Hebrews 13 because it, it says the, the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. And also read John 8 because it it says Satan who is also called the devil is a liar and the father of lies and also read 1st John 4 because it 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 says perfect love casteth out fear but whenever you hear see or think about or are reminded of anything and everything that goes against what the Bible says is good and wonderful read those passages and pray to not let it bother you pray to always stay on the right path pray to always stay on the path that pleases the Lord and also before you pray that read James chapter 1 because it says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways you can either serve the Lord or serve Satan choose this day whom you will serve because as I just said James 1 says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways and also Put a reminder about everything that I have said in this video. 
put a reminder to watch this video in all of your favorite devices to put a put a reminder in all of your favorite devices to watch this video and pray to never be double minded and and ask ask the Lord to help you serve him only and ask him to help you to never let anything sinful become become a part of your life do this on a regular basis pray about about this on a regular basis and please like share and subscribe but also one other one other thing read first John 1 because it it says also if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us and like I said earlier it also says if we confess our sins the Lord is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness so since first John 1 says that and since James 1 says a double-minded man is is unstable is unstable in all his ways and since Matthew 7 says ask and you shall receive and since and since Matthew 6 says if we forgive those who have sinned if we forgive those who have sinned against us the Lord the the Lord will forgive us but if we do not forgive those who have sinned against us he will not forgive us since the Bible says those things put a reminder in all of your favorite devices to read those passages on a regular basis as well as Hebrews 13 as as well as Hebrews 13 and John 8 and also pray to serve the Lord totally wholeheartedly and pray pray also to want to serve the Lord willingly and pray to not let anything sinful that you see on TV movies and here on radio become a willing part become a become a pleasant part of your life pray for anything sinful to never come in your life beyond TV movies and music do this on a regular basis and please like share and subscribe too thank you very much